Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning into our March issue of Inside Darley. There's a lot of consolidation going on in the fire service right now, as I'm sure you're probably aware. On February 3rd, Spartan, their emergency group, was acquired by Rev Group. So as you're looking at the industry, you now have three major companies really commanding roughly 80% of the market, and that leaves uh, the remainder of, what, 20 or 25 OEMs to fight over that 15% of the market uh, that remains. So uh, very interesting to see that taking place. It's also taking place at the dealer level. So Pierce dealers recently, uh, McQueen in December uh, purchased Global Fire here in Illinois and Indiana. So you're seeing a consolidation uh, taking place there. You're also seeing consolidation taking place in the rescue tool market where Madison Industries recently purchased Homacho after owning uh, Amkis and some other companies. So interesting to see. Rosenbauer certainly making a name for themselves on the West Coast and across America and really around the world with their electric vehicles that they've introduced. In Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles Fire Department and very, purchased the very first one. So it'll be interesting to watch that uh, evolution as it takes place. The Fire Apparatus Manufacturers Association just released their 2019 statistics on new orders. And compared to 2018, they were almost identical. The U.S. market's at about 4,100 vehicles. The North American market's at about 4,600 vehicles. And here in America, the, the states that are most populous are obviously also the states with are buying the most fire trucks. And the highest uh, volume in terms of new orders for fire trucks in the United States were, you know, New York, California, Texas, Florida, and Pennsylvania in that exact order. And that's very much the order in which they are. The population uh, is with the exception of New York, which is actually the fourth largest populous state uh, in America with roughly 19 and a half million people. If you're a fire department and you're interested in a Fire Act grant, you better get moving. The AFG grant closes on March 13th, so go to AFG.gov. We'd encourage you to check that out and uh, get your grant in sooner than later. March 22nd, is going to be World Water Day, and at Darley, we're always uh, heavily involved in water as both uh, an initiative for our corporate social responsibility and sustainability, but also in different markets with our water purification and box of water. And if you as a company or an industry or association or something are interested in helping out in that water area, we have boxes of water, which we call our box of rain, which you can put your company uh, logo on. There's some information. Reach out to Kevin Sofin at Darley.com. We'd love to have a, a chance to work with you there. You know, if you're a CEO or an aspiring CEO or a manager looking to be uh, improve your career, you might be interested in this uh, McKinsey article that we've attached. It's called The Mindset and Practices of Excellent CEOs. It was rated their number one uh, article in 2019, and it gives a framework of these six different areas where CEOs should be concentrating their time. And within that, there's 18 different practices they talk about from, you know, the, the six areas are your, your personal norms and working style, how you engage your board, corporate strategy strategy, organizational alignment, team and processes, and lastly, your external stakeholders. And we at Darley, and that really, the external stakeholders talks about building resistance before a crisis. And we at Darley have been very attuned to the coronavirus. In fact, our last two articles are just put out by UBS. It talks about the impact on the world economy and, and just the world in general and changing your corporate strategy as a result of that. So you might find that of interest. We're even taking a very close look at who attends Interschutz and, uh, you know, and we're not alarmed. But we're just the the concern of the the well-being of our employees of, is of paramount uh, paramount importance to us here at Darley. So thanks for tuning into this issue of Inside Darley. If there's anything we can be doing to assist you, we hope you reach out to us.